Good morning, everybody. So today is officially moving day. It's July 1st. The movers came with a quickness. Honestly, I would highly recommend them. I'll probably leave their information down below if I can get it from Brian, but. They're the best. Yeah, they did such a good job. They were in and out of our house. They packed very well. Um, and how long did it take them to get here? Like three days, two days? Two days. Two days, so. They're already, they already pulled up to our house. We just stopped at Walmart to get a few things. And we're gonna lay in our bed tonight. I'm so excited. So I'll see you guys when we get to the house. And also I'll insert a clip of what our place looks like. I'm not gonna show y'all everything, but I'm gonna insert a little clip right now. Okay, y'all, welcome to our new crib. Honestly, when I tell you how hard it was to find a place in Phoenix, but we finally did. And this is our kitchen, living, and dining room area. Love it. We have a patio as well. And let's get into our kitchen. So we have a huge island. Matte black finishes, a gas stove, which is what I wanted. The black splash, don't really care too much for it. But, you know, we compromised. And we're not going to get everything we want. I love that the garbage is hidden, which means no garbage can. And this pantry space is crazy big. It is huge. So much storage love 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 it it kind of sold me to be honest we have a half bath with a little tiny sink but it's okay it's functional we also have a two-car garage but going up the stairs i love the floors they're like this light oak engineered hardwood so there's this landing space right here which i plan to use as my office we're gonna make it real cute and pretty i've never had a dedicated office so this is gonna be great there is also a guest bathroom i love that the sink and then the tub area is sectioned off love that the tile goes all the way up and then we have our dedicated laundry space with a sink in it i already used the washer and dryer and they are so good too good and then this is the smaller of the three bedrooms this is going to be my little beauty room slash guest room we'll see and there's a small little closet and then this is the other second bedroom and this one's a little bit bigger and this is going to be ryan's man cave and where he's going to put all his work clothes this one has a little walk-in closet so He's gonna have a lot of space to put his clothes and when i tell you he has more clothes than me i'm not joking this is our primary bedroom which which is a great size there's a tiny little balcony and then this is our bathroom great size the storage is okay but the shower is heavenly we have two shower heads rainfall and just like a regular one and i love the touch of the window in the shower and i love the tiling in the shower we have our water closet over here and then we have his and her closet so this definitely sold us as well we can keep our clothes separate and we can make our closet how we want so we definitely appreciated that feature and we're not done yet there is another level guys and i think this is what really really sold us we have a rooftop patio space oh my gosh i cannot wait till it cools down and we could sit out here and just chill it's gonna be such a great great vibe love the scenery sunsets are immaculate so yeah this is our new home and i think we made a great choice
big ass mirror in the house. You <laughs> right there in that corner Yeah, this is the right here. In the middle? Is it big? Yeah. Okay. You know what? See that? I don't know. Is it, is it line mm -hmm. up? Probably. It, it just seems like it's a little bit right here. Probably that's how it looks. It's actually right here. Okay, y'all, so everything is in the house, done. They put a few things together, like the console, the couch, took down the mirror. But we have a bunch of boxes to go through. We have a TV, boxes over here. There's hella boxes upstairs. I'm going to show you guys that right now. <gasps> oh, and Stormy got a haircut. Look at her. Stormy, show yourself. Stormy. Stormy. Stormy, Stormy, <laughs> she's so cute. Yeah, so hella boxes out here. This is for like the master, the primary bedroom, as well as all the other rooms. A lot of freaking boxes to go through. Brian's room, my room. I don't know how I'm gonna do this because I want to put a day bed in here, but this is taking up so much space, it's bothering me. And I wanted a vanity to put in front of this mirror so I can do like TikToks and get ready with me's and stuff and just have all my makeup here. So we gotta figure this out, I don't know. So we just pulled up to get some food at this Jamaican restaurant called Cool Vibes. Just gonna try it out, hopefully it's good. I haven't had Jamaican food, Caribbean food in a while, so. I was like, let me see what's out here. I don't even know what I want yet. Either oxtail or jerk chicken. One or the other. You can have some. Alright guys, so I got jerk chicken with some cabbage and rice and peas. Y'all know I don't really like rice and peas, but they didn't have white rice. Larry got curry chicken, and we both got two pineapple drinks from B&G. Cheese pesos. Ice? Thank you. So far this rice is bomb. Let's try the cabbage. It's a little salty, but it's okay. It's nice and crunchy. Let me try his curry goat or curry chicken. Curry chicken. Mmm. I like. Cheers. Two minutes. <laughs> Let me. You know we gotta continue the vibes, right? <sighs> Any ing words and i o n. 
Ooh, this is burning my back, y'all. It is 40, what is it, 42 degrees today? And by the end of the week, ow, ow, ow. Ooh, by the end of next week, it's supposed to be 50 degrees, y'all. 50 degrees? I've never seen that in my life. Celsius. Yeah, 50 degrees Celsius, which is 100 and what? 19 degrees. Come here, stop. That sounds disgustingly terrible. Like today is the hottest day it's ever been. To it's me. hot as hell. Just today. Whew. It's so hot. But yeah, yeah. I got that garage now. Cause like, goddamn. For your car, or for what? My car. Oh, I want to hopefully like get some weights and stuff that we could put in the garage. I seen people have like their own gym in there. They had the whole squat rack and all of that. That's what I want to do. Are you down for that? I got one at school. That's not what I asked you. I need one though. I'm not for you, yeah. Yeah, I would love that. <sighs> no excuses at that point. But yeah, anyways, we're gonna go back to the house and then I'm gonna start unpacking my closet and then probably do the kitchen, start doing the kitchen stuff because we got a lot of dishes that we gotta do. And I gotta wipe everything down too. Even though I'm Baby, you should cry, please. What do you think, but not Moments like this. When we're cussing with breakup and we're fucking with makeup and nobody not fed up like we. See your body look me, look at the lolly, mommy, they please don't have up for me. Put the drip on me, body, pussy, your grip on me, cocky. That's your favorite part. <laughs> what does that mean? We the fuck y'all free. Why are you looking at me? Like you're looking free is looking. Like you're grilling like. Ah. What is broke off your steel? Do you tell me who I buy you? Be more careful who you can find in a wah 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 wah. I know everybody pour my drink. I know anybody buy my gin. day and I have been working 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 non-stop since it's been bright outside and I'm tired I'm so tired I hate unpacking it's so tedious so annoying you have to wash all your dishes again you have to wash all your sheets again like all of that and it's a lot and you have to wipe everything down again it's so annoying and we still have so much more to do honestly so i'm gonna show you guys quickly what i got done so far it really doesn't seem like a lot but it it was a lot honestly so <sighs> i'm exhausted but i'm gonna continue until it's time for me to take a shower and go to bed well these are some of my clothes all of my like, dresses and stuff over here nothing is organized i just put it there for now um i got all of my pants over here shirts over here i think i'm gonna put blazers either up here or up there i'm not sure yet oh i didn't even get to show you guys so they up my bed yo omg so i don't know how this happened what happened but my bed is so messed up like i gotta get a whole new bed they gotta reimburse me or something because my bed did not look like this when i left like let me show you guys it's actually ridiculous so first of all it doesn't even sit right on the floor anymore y'all can see that it's like lifting up i think it's the way they packed it they they smushed it and then look at all these marks on it like black black can you guys even see this like black 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 marks all here all here 
all hair, black marks everywhere. It's all like twisted and folded, squished up. I'm so mad. I'm so upset. The only thing they did a good job on was the headboard, but the base of this thing, they just freaking smushed it and said, I don't care. And it's so weird because they did wrap it and everything. So I don't know how it got these big ass things. It's crazy to me. Yeah, so it's looking like we're gonna get a whole new bed. I don't know if we're gonna get the same one, something similar, cause I do, I love this bed, honestly. I really do like this bed, but we're gonna see. I think I want a similar design, but we're gonna switch it up just a little bit. Maybe not get white, maybe get like a cream or something. But all I know is that they need to reimburse me. <laughs> Brian said to take photos and stuff, so that's what I did. But other than that, they did like a great job with everything else. So, yeah. Good morning, y'all. So, as you guys can see, we kind of got a lot done yesterday. We pretty much finished up this bottom level because I'm like, I don't want to keep coming into a house when it looks so crazy. So yesterday we worked on this bottom level. We finished up all the dishes. We put everything away, like all the food. We opened up all the boxes. Brian got the TVs mounted. We're supposed to get internet today and gas today. I need gas because I really want to make some tea and I don't have an electric uh, kettle. I need the gas for that. So yeah, um, we have a few more boxes, but I think these are all empty and yeah we're just using it to put like other recyclables in but let me show you guys what we've done so far i just woke up i took down my hair it was in the little uh half style for a minute and it was hurting my head so last night i took it down but i think it looks kind of cute like i can wear this for the next few days until i wash my hair and have to style it for my trip coming up i'm so excited i have a trip coming up don't know if this video is going to go up before it. Probably will because my travel vlogs take forever. But <laughs> um, yeah, it feels so good to be in the new house. Upstairs is a hot mess though. It is so freaking overwhelming. That's the word, overwhelming. There is just boxes everywhere. There's shoes, there's clothes. It looks horrible. So anyways, um, let me show you guys quickly what we've done so far. So I ended up putting a bunch of stuff in here. Pretty much everything that was in here last time. In this one, I have candles and games, like board games, things like that. This one has like electronics, batteries, things like that. And then in this last one right here, there's like photo albums. There's stuff for like my packing. I used to like ship packages out, like clothing and things. I have like all my packing stuff in here um and then a few miscellaneous things i love this because there's just so much storage space and we have a lot of knickknacks so it just goes in here and we don't gotta look at it so the kitchen is still somewhat getting worked on we have a few things that we still need to put away i want to know does a uh, simple human do they sell these things like i need to get more of these because it's not sticking in my uh my sink anymore so i need to look online but yeah it's a little bit messy here still i still have to put a few things away like all of my uh <laughs> camera equipment and stuff is just chilling right here um gotta find somewhere to put my dice in getting a new knife set i actually just ordered it and i don't want it to be out here it's actually going to be inside of here wait not here that was the spices. It's gonna be inside of here with like all the other spoons and forks. Which reminds me, I actually just ordered a bamboo um, utensil holder and it actually came this morning. I ordered it last night, it came already. So I'm gonna be organizing this a lot better. And the knives are gonna go in here too. It's also in like a bamboo holder. So I'm excited for that. Supposedly those knives are really sharp. I find that these knives are dull like I be trying to get through my tomatoes and stuff and I'm just like putting into way too much work. So I really wanted a really sharp knife set. So I'm excited for that to come. On my agenda today is starting the upstairs, 
clearing this kitchen space out a little bit so the countertops are clean. I have to make sure that I have everything packed for my vacation. We're leaving in a few days. And maybe a bit of laundry as well. Because obviously I want to make sure that all the clothes and like towels, bed sheets, things like that are clean. So yeah, that's what's on the agenda today. So yeah, let's get to it. So I'm actually about to clean out underneath the sink and I'm gonna put all of my skincare, makeup. I don't know how all of my stuff are gonna fit because I had a little bit more cabinet space in the other place, so wish me luck. I also have to put my hair products somewhere. So, I don't know. Hey y'all, so I did a few boxes. I'm exhausted now. <laughs> I feel like this process is never ending, but I definitely got a lot done. Tomorrow I'm gonna do like my beauty room area. I don't even know what that room is, like a guest room, beauty room, I'm not sure yet, but I'm gonna do that room because my drawers are gonna be full and I feel like once those drawers are full, the boxes are gonna diminish. I'm just going through all of my stuff and I'm like I have way 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 too many things like a lot of these things I do not need they need to go they need to be donated go to the trash or something because it's just too much for one person this is what I have so far nothing is set in stone I didn't even organize anything I just put shit up <laughs> like this is not organized this is somewhat organized I put all of like my neutral color bags, colorful bags here, all of my designer bags here, more colorful bags down here. These are going to be all my blazers, pants, shirts. This is still, I don't know. I have so many perfumes now. Brands have been sending me perfumes left, right, and center. And then I've obviously been extending my collection. So I have so many. I have to figure out a way that... I can display all of these because it looks horrendous. I'm thinking about getting those acrylic holders where I see people on YouTube put their perfumes in, but I haven't decided yet. And then I have my sunglasses here. I don't know if I'm keeping that there. I have clothes on the floor, stormy. Get out my stuff. <laughs> what you doing? And these are all the boxes and stuff out here that we have to finish. So all of these boxes right here are mine. These are all mine. And this box too is just full of shoes. And then the rest are Brian's. And you know what? A lot more would have gotten done if I had somewhere to put my shoes. I need somewhere to put my shoes. It's hurting me right now. <laughs> I need like something to go up here and like just extend all the way to the top or something maybe even up here maybe down here i'm not sure but i need somewhere to put my shoes anyways guys i am going to take my shower and hop in bed i'm tired i want to wake up early and knock this out of the park because <laughs> i hate a messy messy house like this anxiety it just it's not a good feeling so uh, yeah, we got to be productive tomorrow morning and get 
this stuff handled.